Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check if your iPhone has been hacked or not. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, there are a bunch of different steps you can go through to check and make sure everything is fine. And I'm going to walk you through some steps if you do find that your phone is hacked. Now, the first thing we'll do is hop into your settings here. And once we're in here, we'll start at the very top. Let's tap on your name here. And let's just scroll down. Now, at the very bottom, you'll be able to see various devices that are signed into your iCloud account. If you don't recognize any device at the very bottom here, you can see my iPhone and my MacBook Pro. If you don't recognize those, just tap on it and hit remove from your account. And then you'll want to change your iCloud password because some other device has been logged into your iCloud account and potentially hacked it. Now, another thing let's do, let's go back, back again, is let's tap on cellular. And let's scroll down. What you're looking for here is let's hit sort by name and hit sort by usage. So you can see all of the various apps that have used data on my phone. If you look through any of these and you don't recognize one of these or you haven't really used it within the last 24 hours or last week or month, then that's a good indication that that app might be hacked. For instance, you can see Reddit at the very top. If I just don't really ever use Reddit, but it's using up a lot of data, then potentially that Reddit app has been hacked and it's basically using that app as a conduit to get into my phone. So if that's the case, I would recommend going through and deleting any of those apps that you don't recognize on here that are using up data. Now let's go back here and we're gonna walk through a similar step. Let's tap on general here. And then let's go through iPhone storage. If you see any apps on here that are using up a lot of data, but again, you don't use them regularly, I would recommend going through the process and deleting them. So you can see various apps here. If it looks like it's taking up a lot of data, maybe gigabytes of data, but you haven't used it, again, I would go through the process of just tapping on it and hitting delete app here. Now let's go back, back again and back again. We're gonna check to see if basically your phone is hacked through location services, the camera, the microphone, anything like that. Let's scroll down and tap on privacy and security. And let's choose, for instance, location services at the top. On here, you'll be able to see that little arrow indicates that it has used your location recently. So in any of these different ones, for instance, mine ESPN, for the Find My App, Google Home, Google Maps, News, if any of these are using your location but you haven't opened that app before or you haven't used it recently, I would recommend just tapping on it and making sure you switch over to never at the very top and potentially deleting the app because it could be using your location as part of the hack. Now, you can do the same thing with system services at the very bottom, tap on that, and anything that you don't recognize on here, you can always just toggle off so that it won't use your location. Now that we've done that, let's go back, back again, back again, and we're gonna find Safari on this list under FaceTime, let's tap Safari. This is a common thing that you'll visit a website and that website will be a conduit to someone hacking into or downloading any kind of malware or spyware on your phone. So let's scroll down until we get to clear history and website data, tap on that, and you want to choose all time and let's hit clear history. So this will delete every single thing that has ever been downloaded or the cache or anything like that from your Safari account. Now go through all of these different steps and there are two precautionary things that you can do to make sure you limit the ability for anybody to get into your phone. The first one is tap on general here and software update. 
If you update your software, the iOS, to the latest version, this will help prevent any previous hacks and help to basically patch up any security vulnerabilities. So if you download a new version of iOS, it will wipe out all of those old kind of critters, bugs, anything that might be in your phone, and it will download a fresh new copy. We'll do the same thing for your apps. Let's head into your app store here. Tap on your profile icon at the top right. Let's just swipe down here. And if it says at the very bottom here, update apps, just tap update all so that all of these apps will be refreshed to the latest version. A lot of times these have security fixes that will fix any kind of bugs or glitches in the app to help prevent anyone from getting into your phone, stealing your information, all that stuff. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.